Today, we're going to install a continuous ink system on the Canon Pro 9000 printer. We're going to start with the empty CS, fill it up with ink, and then try different ways of wearing tubes. Let's start with something basic about this printer. The lid trigger is on the right hand side. If you insert a piece of paper into the opening, the printer will think that the lid is closed. After opening the door and removing cartridges, you can see the three essential parts. One is the brass pins for reading chips. Two is the ink intake. And three is a lever to pull up and remove the printhead. Now we start install the CS. The step one is install washer. So we take a silicon washer and uh, we put on each of the ink intake. That will help the cartridge have a tighter seal and uh, reduce air bubbles. The second step is to uh, fill up the cartridge. First, you remove all the plugs from all the tanks and then you do them individually. And here you can see we finished four tanks and then now we're on the fifth tank which is a cyan. We'll fill up the tank first. Then we found the, the corresponding cyan cartridge and the partially leave the orange clip. Now we use the left hand to hold the cartridge and lift the tank with the right hand. Now we look like the Statue of Liberty so ink can flow into the cartridge. Once the cartridge is full, we'll reattach the clip. Now we'll put the both larger and the smaller ends of the plug bag to seal the tank. So work one color at a time. Step four is priming the tank. So we hold the tank with the larger chamber facing towards us, flipping them towards us. So you will see ink flow from the smaller chamber to the bigger chamber. A healthy tank should have a lower ink level in the small chamber and a higher level in the bigger chamber. Also, the tank should be set at a level so that the printhead is between the high and the low levels. Now we can position the tank to a correct level and uh, remember do not put the tank on top of the printer. Now you can take off the smaller plug which is the air plug from each chamber and uh, install the air filter on top of it. Step 5 is install the cartridge. Now we install the cartridge into the printer our cartridge lights up when the printer detects a, fu a functional chip and uh, the light will be steady if uh, everything is okay. If the light is off, that means you have a bad connection or the chip is covered with ink or the chip is not uh, installed properly. And also if the cartridge light up but it flashes, uh, it doesn't mean the chip is bad, it just means the printer I think the cartridge is low on ink and uh, because you have an auto reset chip that, that's not the issue, you can just reset it later. Step 6 is wiring the tubes. There are many ways to wear the supply tubes. We'll try two different mounting accessories. 
uh, no matter what you do, what you um, what you want is put a tube in the middle of the the printer. We mark where we want the tube to be with a green marker, and try to not let the tube be too long. Then we use uh, 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 the transparent clip to uh, glue it in the middle of the printer. A T-arm support clip can also be used to reach from the other side of the, uh, the lid. Another idea is uh, we, glue, we glue a piece of uh, plastic. You can use a regular ruler to the printer. And uh, the plastic stick out the printer's edge by 4 inches. This method will work well for this printer. No matter what you do, just fix the uh, tube in the middle of the printer, and that, that should be fine. The last step is to reset the ink levels. After a couple hundred pages, now we have uh, enough pages printed for the printer to display ink has run out air. Do not close this window. And just open and close the printer lid and the ink level will be reset automatically. You might notice we cut off a piece of plastic from the cover because we're going to put something really heavy on the top. The chip will recite only on depletion. So now it's the yellow one, which is far right. That one is depleted and have a red cross on the top of the cartridge. And the two have low ink level will not reset because it hasn't run out yet. Okay, now it's reset. Okay, watch this. The yellow one is full now. However, there are two warnings still exist on the green and on the cyan. And you have to wait until they are, they are depleted. Then you can reset them. Okay, couple hundred pages later, you can see the sign is depleted now, okay? Uh, now we can reset the sign just by opening and closing the door. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Thank you and good day, bye.